What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest of cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Times. What's up? What's up? And LaVon Maynard. Hey, welcome to the show. What is going on? Welcome to the Monday episode. Thank you for tuning in uh, throughout the week. Last week was really good. We had a guest host on, so we appreciate Mike Ware stopping by uh, for that discussion. If you have not heard it, please go back and listen to it. Uh, it was a really good uh, topic uh, about diversity, inclusion, and the uh, the hiring process. So definitely tune in for that. Uh, if you're new to the show, Monday and Tuesday, we go over our topics. Wednesday is our discussion. Thursdays, we do an Ask Us SP. I'm still over here brainstorming about something new to do with that. And then Fridays, we talk about everything else, about the weekly rundown, video games, movies, books, all that good stuff. Uh, maybe a little bit of Marvel since everything happened last weekend. So we, we'll see, see how that works out. Um, <laughs> but without further ado, I give it to Levon. Yes, sir. So we've got, a, got an article today from, uh, from Reuters. This one's from uh, Jared Renshaw. Uh, this is talking about the White House's uh, White House is to, is to White House to boost support for quantum technology while boosting cybersecurity. So essentially, um, the White House on Wednesday will announce a slate of measures to support quantum technology in the United States while laying out steps to boost cybersecurity to defend against the next generation of supercomputers. Um, so it, the article goes on to say the U.S. and the nations and other nations are in the race to develop, develop quantum technology, which could fuel. Uh, advances in artificial technology, materials, science, and chemistry. Uh, quantum computers, a main focus of the effort, can operate millions of times faster than today's advanced supercomputers. So, yeah, it just goes on to say, you know, talk about some advisory committee that they're putting together. Um, but obviously, this is a this is actually a, a pretty important topic. Uh, something I've talked to some other uh, teammates of mine uh, that I work with. But quantum computers, quant quantum computing is uh, is coming up pretty quickly. It's starting to become more and more talked about. Getting, it's obviously being researched and uh, developed, but there's some some big impl impl implications with quantum computing because obviously we have a lot of uh, 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 encryption technology that we're using nowadays that that relies on a certain um, certain amount of bits that our computers nowadays will take maybe years to, um, to, to uh, process and to uh, decrypt or to to the to hack, but with some of these quantum computers, it potentially uh, can be done, you know, in minutes. Things that take years can be done in minutes with some of these machines that they um, have the potential of uh, developing. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty important topic and something that we have to be uh, kind of on uh, alert for. Um, let me see here. There's something else I was going to mention mention in this article, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much Biden is 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 putting this uh, group together. Uh, it's going to announce some of the members in the upcoming weeks, um, but uh, yeah, it's something that that's obviously very important. Something we have to kind of keep a keep an eye out for. Um, yeah, it's it's and it's coming fast. And this is kind of stuff that you know we we'll probably have to end up developing some uh, some super algorithms, a super super encryption technology that's that's uh, much higher than even quantum computers can handle. And I, I can't imagine what that would look like because we're already. You know, using like I don't know, two fifty six. Uh, R, you know, I can't think of some of the uh, the uh, encryption technology we're using, but there's there's a lot of uh, uh, high level encryption that we're using. But this this uh, quantum computing could just kind of crack you know crack that in minutes. So uh, we'll see what the future has in store. But with that, Shannon, what do you think about this one? So yeah, man, like like you were talking about, man, like the quantum comp quantum computing is is already out there. Right, like like you were talking about with the with the encryptions being being broken, triple dead stuff like that. Like it is it is blowing through some of this stuff that we use for you know banking and <clears throat> even some of like national secrets and stuff like that. Right, like there's stuff they're doing. No, granted, you have defense in depth. Right, like you got to go through several things before you get to the really important stuff. There's all types of levels and things of that nature. But yeah, this is already here. Right, like this is. This is something that when you read it, you're like, oh, okay, well, I, I don't I don't think that's something that's going to happen for another five years down the line, right? Like, I don't know if you guys ever saw, uh, what was the Tom Cruise movie uh, where he predict the future crimes? Oh. Minority Report. Right. Minority Report. So, like, remember how he was, like, on the screen and doing all that? And people were like, oh, right. well, that's cool or whatever. That technology right. was actually out there at MIT at the time. I think it was MIT. Right. 
was where it was, right? So people were seeing that, like, man, that's what the future is like. No, that's what the present is like. Right. Like, that, was, that was already that was already out there being used. Like they didn't come up with that just for the movie. It was something that was already out there. But yeah, right. no, this is this is something that's definitely needed. And there was something else in here that I saw that I was like, okay, this is what this is what uh this is what the good part was. So uh, establishing the working group between the public and private sectors to generate research and collaborate on quantum resistance standards, right? Again, because it's already out there. Um, uh, what's the other thing? The presidential directives being released will help us balance the scientific and economic imperatives to move fast with our obligation to protect our people, communications, and investments, right? So that's a good, that's a key thing too, right? Because right now, the way a lot of this works is that you'll have the public sector will be out there coming up with technologies and doing these things that, um, that or excuse me, the private sector coming out and creating these things. And then when it comes to the government, they got to kind of play catch up, right? Like it's one of those things where they got to kind of be like, hey, we want to get in on this or we want to do this. What they're trying to do now is like get in on the ground floor of doing all this stuff to say, hey, let's be prepared. Let's not have to wait for it to come from whatever big company, you know, for us to get what we need. So I, I think it's a good thing. It doesn't hurt to get in on it, right? I'd like it I'd like it to be more than just an executive order, but, you know, I mean, the, the, the current administration is trying to do what they can, right? The, and with the fastest way possible, you know what I'm saying? But Ryan, what's your thoughts on this? So I, I think it's interesting, right? I think it's, I, I, I hate to... Um, to knock it, I think from an AI perspective, from uh, just business in general, and for weak encryption, um, so not your type A encryptors the NSA is using or anything like that, I think it's definitely a threat. Like it, it could definitely be a problem, especially brute force and all that stuff. That's why we need to get away from passwords, but we'll talk about that later in the week. Um, I think it, it would be a menace once, it, once it's out there, right? So that's why all the governments want it before the other governments get it. Uh, China already says they have the first quantum satellite in space. We don't know if it actually is or what it actually does, uh, per se, at least not from a, not from a civilian standpoint. I'm sure the, the governments know what's going on with it. But um, I'm not terrified, though, because when you do the, the math, which, which I, I don't do because I'm not a math guy, it's, uh, I, I looked it up. It says AES-128, uh, a quantum computer that we understand it to be like right now would take 2.61 times 10 to the 12th years to uh, to crack 128, and then 2.29 times 10 to the 32nd years to break 256, right? I don't know what that means, because I, I, again, I can't math. But it says, uh, basically, to put in a reference, the universe, as we know, it has only been around for 1.38 times 10 to the 10th years. So it would take 200 times longer than the universe has existed to break type A uh, encryption with a quantum computer. So I think we're still good, um, but it's like the space race, right? We just don't wanna, we don't want to be behind when it comes to all of the other stuff uh, that that tech um, that will spawn from quantum computing, the, the AI, the business, the, uh, the 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 going through data analytics, things of that nature at like godly speeds. I get that, but I think I think we're still safe when it, at the federal level for a while. So, so you, you say that, right? So I remember when I was going through CISP, right? Um, the instructor there, he, he was bringing up, he showed us an article about this. So what you're talking about is quantum computing that we have now, right? Yeah, so that's today, what, that's, right. That's what we have today, but yeah. like, because of quantum computing, like that next leap forward, when it goes up, we're going to get there faster than what we have in the past. Right, right. right. So it took us 20 years to get there, maybe two years now right you know what i'm saying with quantum computing so then yeah. the, next, the next level up from that from the the the, qu the quantum squared computing i don't know right what right called, right like yeah. it'll it'll get here sooner than what we're used to the technology approaching us and in our us uh inevitably writing our own doom you know what i'm saying oh yeah yeah, so it's like, like, doom and, gloom. yeah. So. And, and, and i get that because I, I read another article that talked about convergence right like at some point computing speed will be um um, as fast, if not faster than uh, the question, right? It'll know the answer before you ask the question. Um, so it, it is scary. It, there is a potential there. So I'm down for it, man. Like, if can you imagine the, the Call of Duty on a quantum computer? Like, <laughs> I want it for the practical reasons. <laughs> like, that's what I want in my life, right? When it's affordable and I can have it in my home. But I, I do, I do get the implications. I'm just not terrified yet. But like you said, um, that's that's the way computers work, right? Like the leaps forward are faster and faster and faster. So 
we, we will definitely um, be in in uh, Skynet before you know it. So there, there is that. <laughs> but it's definitely a fascinating article and, and I'm, I'm down for the executive order and then that will lead to change, right? That'll lead to organizations stepping up, like I'm sure. Um, uh, CISA and a bunch of other organizations already writing te te uh, techniques, tactics, procedures uh, to go along with it. And um, the best and brightest are trying to push us forward. We had a, a sidebar by Elon. He's already he probably already into the quantum, right? Like some Starlinks <laughs> already being set up, but um, the implications on GPS, stuff like that. So yeah, so I, there, there is a lot happening with it. So it's definitely interesting. I, I hope the topic comes back up again uh in the near future so we can see kind of like how it's moved along kind of like how they did uh the last executive order um and now CISA actually has uh some teeth behind it and they're pushing forward to talk to businesses and what have you so uh i'm down for it uh but with that being said uh thank you for tuning in uh again monday and tuesday are our topics so definitely tune in tomorrow for the next topic we try to keep them short and sweet uh wednesday is our discussion i think that one will be a good one about passwords or the the future of not having one. So definitely tune in for that. And then Friday, everything else. So movies, books, no spoilers, right? I did see um, uh, the end of Moon Knight and uh, the Multiverse of Madness, but I won't spoil it. So, but, but definitely tune in for our takes on that. So hit up all of our social medias that go by our name. And then hit me up personally. I'm at Ry Ry Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy on Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Clubhouse. And you, Levon? Hey, hit me up on the Twitter, it's at LeBron Maynard. There it is. Stay safe, stay secure. Take care.